receive, 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 receive. Yanada Cynthia, can you help me? Yakala Moshi, Kalama Siheke, Kinana Nana Sula Bakasi, and Daniel Toko Balabahishi. Receive, receive, receive. Akambala Namasika, Etele de de Sakinana Nana. Line your spirit with the word. Line up your spirit with the word. Line up your spirit with the word. He's flowing here like a river. Endada Masiha, I will not let him pass me by. I will not let me pass him by. Yendere de Yana Nana Masia. The creative power of the living God. A creative power of the living God. Hendere bo sakinali na 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 yoko teledi ha. Asendere bakoma mama saha. Manda ha. Power to draw the invisible to become visible. Power to see that which you see with your spiritual eye. To make it flesh. To make it tangible. Power to answer to the problems of your society. Power to answer to the problems of your of your family. Power to be a solution bringer. And the if only you would believe you will see the glory of God if only you would believe if only you would believe thank you Lord can I have the rest of the musicians hallelujah some are still praying receiving in the name of jesus even online receive that miracle word that has been given to us hallelujah receive 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 hallelujah thank you lord jesus hallelujah the bible says in job chapter 36 verse 30 says behold he spreads his lightning about him and he covers the depths of the sea for by this he judges the people and gives food in abundance he covers his hands with lightning and commands it to strike the mark its noise declares his presence the lord jesus covers his hands with what lightning And he commands his hand to strike the mark. So when he lays, he says, lay your hands on the sick. It is his hand that he's putting and what he's putting on that hand is lightning. He covers his hand with lightning and commands it to strike the mark. When he says lay your hands on the sick he's saying lay lightning on the sick let it strike the mark virgin if only you would believe if only you would believe the one who is working with you the creator of the heaven and the earth hallelujah the one who says a thing and it comes to pass i walk in all God has for me I recover everything I walk in total victory because Christ paid he paid for me. I walk I walk in all God has for me. I recover everything I 
just walk in it. You know, I was beginning to see that the Holy Spirit, it is not that God does not speak to you. It's not that God does not speak to you. And it's not even that you don't want to hear his voice. Because when the Lord told me that go hold the hand of your husband and agree with him, I was in the spirit. I was carried in the spirit. Throughout this night, I was watching in the spirit. I mean, I had this glorious encounter with God. But when I came here in the morning, the enemy brought a spirit of condemnation on me because I was in my spirit. Man, I was watching and I wanted to be here on time. And when I came in late, the spirit, you know, I just felt like, oh my God, Lord, I failed you. And the enemy started to say, oh no, no, no. You cannot share the things that you saw this morning. You, you're, you're late, you're disconnected. So I was knocked out from the fire that I was bringing in the morning. So it was like, oh that was the worship practice that I, I was, I'd already seen what God wanted to do this morning. So I repent because I let the enemy push me aside. Because God wanted to take us to another level. I'm like, Lord, but I, I wasn't there at the time of prayer. And you know, self-condemnation is what is going to keep you from the grace of God. Hallelujah. Because when the grace of God is moving, you repent and you move on. You repent and you move on. You don't sit and start thinking, but I feel that I feel that is pride. It is pride that, okay, that puts you to, to feel like, oh, but Lord, you know, I was trying to be here on time. I don't want to fail you by being late because I, I have sin. Lateness is a sin against God. And if there's one sin that you can stop doing very quickly is to just be on time. Just be on time. It's not that hard. You can satisfy the heart of God. let me tell you something the spirit of God showed me a mighty thing that he's going to do in this place there was this wings of angels with fruits and answers hanging down in this place and they hung all, all throughout the time and like why I did not receive in it and this morning the Lord has given us the, the way to do it whatsoever you say hallelujah sit down quickly i'm going to just take us into the mother's day message we don't have time for the message so, but i promise you mothers i have to give you this message because i received it from the presence of god so because we don't have time you have time the, the ones who are no mothers are saying they have time <laughs> That is so wonderful, amen. Praise the Lord. Please put the slides for me quickly. And uh, I will give you the blessings that the Lord put upon my heart. But one of the things the Spirit of God came to me in the night and whispered in my ears. He said, a prayerless mother is a curse to her generation. A prayerless mother is a curse to her generation. And the Spirit of God just put a big trembling in my heart that don't fill your children don't fill your generation by missing to pray and I'm not talking about you praying crisis prayer because we are very good at praying crisis prayers <laughs> there's a crisis <laughs> like when we had the crisis for sister Anita my god all the prayers came out there was no sleep in my eye. I said that ta <laughs> ta. We shall see this miracle. We are we refuse to back down. We must see our sister come back to life. And the faith and the zeal and the passion and everything else could wait. Let me tell you something. That's crisis prayer. God is looking for mothers who would have a lifestyle of prayer. A lifestyle of prayer. When you pray with that same intensity, with that same passion, all the time. Because he commands us to pray without season. Because he knows that God can give you three, there are three kinds of things God can give you. God can give you things or God can give you destinies. I don't know what you're asking for. 
Some of you are asking God for a house. That is great. After I had my house, I'm like, hi, should I be asking for another bigger house? No, you know, you can't, you, <laughs> there is never enough. Because now you have the house and you're like, ha, ah, I need more rooms. Oh, oh, no, I need um, to pay somebody to clean this place. This is too big for me. There's, there's never anything that is enough. When it comes to things and you receiving things, that is the lowest level of asking. But we have so much dwelt on things. On things. That's the lowest level of trust. If God doesn't trust you, all he can give you is things. Because things will pass away. If he doesn't trust your relationship with him, what he will give you in abundance is things. The people of the world have things. They have money. Yeah. Right? It's from the good father. Don't think that it is from the good father. He gives to the good and the evil. Things. So if your prayer life is just about things, about money, about provision, about supply, about your... Those are things. That's the lowest level of trust. I want to introduce you mothers to what God is really looking for to give you destinies. Destinies. Can I trust you with the destiny of this child? Can I trust you with the destiny of this nation? Because when I see this child, I don't only see this child. I see a whole generation behind this child. When I saw called Abraham, I called all the nation of Israel into that one person. I saw through his seed. I saw Isaac. I saw Jacob. I saw, I saw through him until I saw Jesus in that seed. So when you're talking about things, I'm like, when will they grow up and start asking me? That's why he says that up to now, you have not asked me for anything. Because God thinks for him is not what we're talking about. He's talking about people's hearts, uh, transformation of lives. Those are real things in the kingdom of God. So how much time are you spending changing destiny with your prayers? I told the Lord, Lord, truly you have given me everything that I wanted. If it's things I don't, I don't think there's anything else I can ask you. You've given me everything. Now help me to change destinies. Help me to change destinies. Help me to affect people when I come into a place. Let fire come. Lord, let you carry that altar with me. That when I come, fire comes down. Promise me, Lord, this one more thing that I can do is that every time that I step on, you step on. Changing destinies. I pray that your passion from today will be, Lord, use me to change the destiny of my children. Use me, Lord. All the other things you will give freely to me. These are change. It's change in heaven. Little change. Your things. But people's hearts. The Bible says the hearts of men. The hearts of kings are in the hands of God. That's what he treasures most. Children, I hope you're listening to me. And you know what? Bishop is very patient. When he stands here, people are distracted playing and he continues preaching. I, I'm like, hey, this man, you have lots of grace and patience. I don't know how you do it. Because when they're commit, communicating serious things, you want everybody's eyes. You want them to connect. Because it takes so much of waiting in the presence of God before we stand here to deliver the word. We want to expect that with the same expectancy and seriousness, your spirit is drawing in. If not, guess what? The word bounces back to us. You go back and you're not refreshed. You go back, but Lord, I preached and then how come, how come I'm, I'm heavy? How come I'm, because people did not receive the word. So it's a disservice to a minister when he's ministering and you are on your phone. It is a big insult, not only to God, but to the one who took time to wait on God. Happy Mother's Day. Her children will rise up and bless her. The first point about your Mother's Day is that your children must rise up. Wow. They 
there is no blessing for you on Mother's Day unto your children. Rise up. You see, I started seeing a vision through the night where water was going upwards. You know how a waterfall, water is coming downwards. And I'm like, Lord, how come this water is going upwards? And I'm like, he's like in heaven, there's no gravity. So we go both ways. We go up and we go down. And I was like, this is beautiful. A waterfall going upwards, water going up. It was the most beautiful sight I saw. I was like, Lord, this is amazing. He says, that's why Jesus could easily ascend to heaven. We go up. Your children must rise up. And now, this is the blessing. That even though this, the word of God says that by all means, the greater blesses the lesser. When it comes to children and mothers... See the blessing there. The children who bless the mother. <laughs> there is a special thing that God will do where your children will speak a thing into your life and it will immediately come to pass. Because those children are walking in faith. They have risen up in the realms of the spirit. Because every true blessing is from heavenly realms. So nobody can bless you until he has risen into the heavenly realms. Because all blessings are locked in heavenly realms. God is saying that he's raising a generation of children that rise up into heavenly realms. And they speak a blessing to their parents. And it comes to pass. I'm looking forward to that happening through Paul, David, Emmanuel, Anna, destiny. Yes, my prayer. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't Hallelujah. Uh, while Bishop and Dr. Liz were away, I had a serious back pain. It was very hard to take the children to school. Yet I had to because. Uh, I loved it. I love it. <laughs> but but when, once I was just driving them to school and I shared, I said, children, it has been hard. I have a back pain. Uh, which, you know, it occurred when I lifted up little Anna to put her. And uh, <laughs> then <laughs> something I've been sustaining. Anyway, in Jesus' name, it is off. Then, uh, as, just as I shared it with the children, we're in the car driving. I shared it, and then immediately Paul reacted. He said, Grandpa, should we pray for you? I said, sure, please. And, uh, and uh, right there, Paul led his siblings to pray for me in the car as I was driving. And uh, they prayed their childlike prayer, but something happened. Something happened, and I shared it with them the following day. I shared it with Mama Alice. And um, I, I did not feel it immediately, and I, can, I continued driving. But the following day, as I was driving them to school, the pain that was the day before was no longer. Amen. So water was flying upward, and the children blessed me. And I said, Ma Alice, please ask the children to pray, to pray for you too. <laughs> because we had the same problem. Praise the Lord. So I, just, I was just pushed to share that. And I, I still want to thank Paul because he initiated it. I didn't ask children to pray for me. He said, Grandpa, should we pray for you? Praise the Lord. <laughs> thank you for that confirmation. Amen. It is water is going upwards. Amen. So in this special Mother's Day, we shall have our children bless us. If your mother anywhere, you ask your child to bless you. If that child is a born again believer, he's going to act as a priest. And let me tell you, based on this word, you will receive a true blessing from the Lord. If you're a child, call your mother and say, Happy Mother's Day, I want to bless you, mommy. Hallelujah. So the children would rise up. My prayer is that the children of this church would rise up. Hallelujah. They'll rise up in the healing gift. One of the things the Lord brought to me in Mozambique is that I must raise a warrior, the warrior children. And I began to see a 24-hour chain of prayer by children. This is how it's going to happen. Children of different nations will have, will have a time of prayer. Different lots are located. 
so that 24 hours on a Saturday the children are praying hallelujah we'll have children from 2 to 5 praying 30 minutes or 15 minutes then those from 5 to 10 come in and join in for the next 30 minutes like that throughout we, brethren we are going to children you are, are you with me hallelujah thank you Lord because the enemy doesn't know he is totally unawares about the weapons that these ones carry hallelujah so he's ready for us but he's not ready for them and he's not ready for them he has no clue what they are going to do to him and when I heard that in Boston they had a, 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 a celebration of children to initiate them in satanism in that Boston stuff they took children to the library and guess what there's somebody with a goat's head was with, with um, doing witchcraft and initiating them I'm like you see boy because we have not had children come so the enemy has said that this is where the, the battle lies let me tell you we have come to announce that we are taking back the children of America we shall have children come so children shall come and pray and fast Because it takes just one little child to say the enemy stop and he must stop. Because they don't have the unbelief that you have to walk through your... So your children will rise up to bless you. Now this is the blessing of Mother's Day. Amen. I was so blessed myself when the Holy Spirit gave me this blessing. Genesis chapter 49. Get to the next slide. Hallelujah. Genesis 49. It's a blessing that the Lord blessed Joseph. And the Lord told me to bless the mothers on this Mother's Day with the blessing of Joseph. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is what it says. Genesis chapter 49, verse 22. If you want, that's the, that's the beautiful thing that Stephanie did for us. Those who are watching online, so you can also feel this beauty that we're going to experience here. Just put Genesis 49 up, okay? Joseph is a fruitful bow. Everybody say fruitful bow. What's, what, what's a bow? Bow. Bow. Yeah, what is it? A limb. Okay, a limb. A limb of a tree. Okay. It, it, um, it's a fruitful bow. Bow? Bow. Look at that. that. That has no connection to what is written there. But anyway. <laughs> A fruitful bow by a well. Hallelujah. I want to declare to you mothers. You're a fruitful bow by a well. On this mother's day. That's what the father is calling you. Fruitful by a well. You're not fruitful on your own. You're fruitful when you're beside the well. Your, fruitful, your fruitfulness is attached to your location. Your fruitfulness is attached to where you are positioned. Hallelujah. By the well, then you are fruitful. His branches run over the wall. Hallelujah. That's your children. They will run over the wall. They shall run over the wall of depression. They shall run over the wall of addiction. They shall run over the wall of oppression. They shall run under the wall of drug. They shall run over. The way you're quiet, I don't know if you're saying amen in your heart. Oh, you're going to say amen tomorrow? Yeah, it's just sinking in. Ha, no, no, let's sink and talk at the same time. Didn't they not say that? <laughs> you believe I spoke. A food football. Next verse. Hallelujah. When we say it, you declare it because that's the blessing we're releasing now. Amen. We are releasing the blessing. Your children shall run over the wall. No matter what wall, obstacle has been put before your children. They shall run over it. They shall run. I did not say they shall walk. They shall run. They shall have speed in the spirit. They shall run over that wall that has been put over their lives. Is it the wall of racism? They shall run over it. Hallelujah. The archers have bitterly grieved him, shot at him and hated him. Next verse. Whatever the hatred is, next verse. Roll with me. Hallelujah. But his bow remained in. Hallelujah. But his bow remained in. I prophesy that your children, their bow, their spirit of war, their strength shall not fail. They shall remain in strength. And the arms of their hands will be made strong. I prophesy that your children's arms will be made strong. I prophesy that yes, mother, you, your arms will remain strong. But because 
because by the hand of the almighty God of Jacob from there the shepherd and the stone of Israel he's the one strengthening your hand mother he's the one that is going to hold your arm that is going to bear those children in your arms you shall continue to intercede for them you shall not get weary in declaring over them you shall not get weary in carrying them in the spirit your hand shall be made strong by the hand of the almighty God receive strength in your arms mothers receive strength to carry the destiny of your children these are not ordinary people they carry a destiny for the kingdom yes your children your grandchildren they are carrying destiny for the children there are prophets in your hands there are apostles in your hands there are evangelists in your hands receive strength to carry their destiny in prayer in prayer we see strength from the shepherd the stone of Israel do you know that God's name is called the stone <laughs> he's called the stone of Israel as strong as a stone is as unbreakable as a stone is you shall not break emotionally I infuse strength into your emotions I infuse stability into your emotions mother you shall not fail your emotions shall not go up and down I declare today that you become strong emotionally like a stone you become strong because God almighty receive the strength of the Lord we are not strong because of ourselves there's an it's a hand that is under your hand. They say that he's the strength under my wings. I want to announce to you there's a hand under your hand that is keeping that hand up in intercession. It will keep your hand up praising. Yes, Moses needed heaven and earth to lift up his hand. I've come to announce to you mothers that Yahweh himself is holding your hand up. He's holding your hand of intercession up. He's holding your hand of praise up. So don't let your hands go down. As you watch over those children, do not let your hand go down. Verse 25 says, From the Lord God your Father. These blessings are from where? The Lord God your Father every mother needs a father's blessing I said every mother needs a father's blessing and this morning Heavenly Father came to bless you came to bless your motherhood he says I will help you and by the Almighty who says I will bless you hallelujah he says mother I'll bless you with the blessings of heaven above with the blessings of the deep that lies beneath blessing of the breast and of the womb you see why I say it's a mother's blessing the blessing of the breast and the womb specifically for you hallelujah two things that the breast do the breast and the womb specifically they only serve others the womb the woman doesn't do anything with it but to give birth it is not supplying anything to the woman but it is there for another person do you understand it is there to serve another person's life, not the woman's life. All her years of preparation is just to give away. That's why some women, when they, they take out their wombs, they feel like part of them have been taken away. They, that, that womb was created just as a gift to the world. You see, there's something so special about women because God wrapped a lot of his in nature and personality inside a woman. Every month, the woman's womb, that's what? Sheds blood. I want to give you a special secret, women. When your womb is shedding blood, it is Yahweh Elohim saying, I've come to give you a sign how much I love you. I shed my blood for you. I shed my blood for you. Now you can feel how it is. What the father felt when life was going out of him 
as his son bled drop after drop after drop after drop after drop after drop you can feel it you can feel the pain you can feel the pain that the heavenly father felt he made the womb to be like that it goes contracts now only mothers can understand what I'm talking about no matter how much the spiritual eyes of the men are open they Self never taste that milk. I've never tasted, I've never had courage to taste that milk. I think one day I will taste that milk just so that I can know what it feels like. We give that child sucks that milk like it is wonders manna from heaven. They enjoy the milk. The mother herself doesn't taste that milk. She just gives. That is the heart of God the Father feeding us with his word hallelujah he says feed of this milk of the word like babies his nature again on the woman's body how special you are to God how much he has wrapped his identity and purpose inside of you if only you knew it you think it's for no reason that Jesus decided to come to a woman special to God your breast and your womb are special to him make sure before you go back to sleep today you dedicate those two portions to serve God's purposes because they are representing something of his nature and you declare that no unnecessary blood shall be shed from this body hallelujah Verse 26 says, the blessing of your father has surpassed the blessing of my ancestors. Hallelujah. The blessing of your father has excelled the blessing of my ancestors up to the uttermost bond of everlasting hills. You shall be on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of he who was separated from his brothers. Mothers, this was the blessing the Lord told me to read over you today. And to give you as a special gift from Heavenly Father. He said you shall be, it shall be on the head of Joseph. And now he has chosen that today, Mother's Day, you be positioned as that Joseph. The blessing on your head. They saw so much special thing because there's some craziness that the enemy wants to put on your head. You see... <laughs> It is not on our feet, it's on our head. A lot of the shame, disgrace, discouragement on our head. The lot of the disorientation and confusion and the low self-esteem on your head. And God says that the problem is on the head. And that is where I'm going to put the blessing. Because the blessing is able to swallow up the problem. It shall rest on your head on the crown of the head of he who was separated from his brothers go back to my slide and then we shall pray I've given you what the Lord told me who you are, you are a fruitful bow and I'm going, I'm going to show you what a fruitful bow is what is your function what is your product, these are all things we had time if we had time we'll share what is your battles, what are your victories next slide, hallelujah Genesis, we have already established that. Next, next slide. Mothers, you are made to be a blessing. What is a fruitful bow? I want you to see this. I'm happy that we had some... A bow. Okay, a bow is actually 
the largest part of a branch, the largest branch among the tree. So I want to declare to you, woman, you know, Bible says that he is the vine and we are the branches. The largest branch. It has the ability, the purpose of the branch is to support the foliage so that it can receive light. I've declared to declare to you, woman, you are a branch. Your purpose is that everyone attached to you should receive what? Full stop. Receive light. I come as a light giver. I come so you receive light. There is something about light. Light is like the Wi-Fi of heaven. When you come around, even if you don't have Wi-Fi, if I'm connected, you can get connected. So mothers, if you are receiving the light of heaven, your children can get connected through you. They can download from your own resources. They can download from your faith. That's why it was said of Timothy, the faith that was in your grandmother, that was in your mother, is now also in you. Let your children download from your Wi-Fi of faith. Let your own bar not be that half. If it's half, you cannot share. You need to have full, what do you call it? Full what? Bad ring, not bad ring. You know those lines of white connection. You must have full reception for anyone to be able to block into yours. Hallelujah. Next slide and we are starting to pray. Your purpose promotes the reception of light and destroy the reception of darkness in your area. Ha. You see, reception is one thing that is so serious. You, Pastor G, come, come, come here. Explain this and we, we shall pray. We shall pray. Take Pastor's phone and show me what you are doing in Cameroon looking for Wi-Fi. You don't need Pastor's phone. Use your own. So you were trying to download something, right? And there was sorry i i was not supposed to i was supposed to say some country in the world so forget about what i said <laughs> so you're trying to what were you doing tell me just to demonstrate what you are doing when you're trying to get stuff and you're looking for where reception is right so we went in the hall we got um we we got a um uh, a modem that has antenna and depending on where you are, you, you can have a full bar reception or you can have zero bar reception. So for, for like a few minutes, we had like half a bar. Then we were moving. We see three bars. We moved there, zero bars. So we were just like jumping around until we got at least full bar. The way he was going around and said, okay, is it here? Oh, is it here? Where we can have full reception so we can get the download guess what the Holy Spirit showed me? He said, Elizabeth, I walk into your room and I walk into the church looking for who has full reception so I can give download. I'm always looking for who has full reception, who is fully connected so they can get download. That's why I come to a service and I can touch only one person and one person in the crowd, only one touched. Why? Others have half bar, two bars, three bars. Heaven is looking for full reception. Stand up on your feet. Let us pray. Mandala Shitala Mariana. Faith is the reception and the Wi-Fi of heaven. The Bible says, when I come to the earth, will I find faith on the earth? Will I find reception so people can download what heaven has? Heaven's resources are over us. Virgin, I came to announce that God, God's promises has already been accomplished. Everything is yes and amen in Christ. Do not die with their empty hands when there are blessings over your head full reception. I want you to begin to pray and say, Lord, I'm going in for full reception, full connection, Lord. My spirit connected, my soul, my imagination connected. Lord, my concentration, my focus must be concentrated. My whole being
chain must be connected. I refuse that these blessings will pass me by. Our assignment is to promote the reception of light. When we pray, we are binding the powers of darkness that are blocking reception. We are binding the destruction that is blocking reception. We are binding the heaviness and curse of this world that are blocking reception. Our whole purpose must be, Lord, let there be full connection. Malanda ya sakalandi hatala basheha na ya sakalanda yokola mama seha heaven downloads with no problem whenever there is full reception lord we declare today that the mothers are rising up as you have put the blessing upon our heads lord that same oil that you poured upon the lord jesus the holy oil is running from him who is our head down to us in the name of jesus down to us and we declare lord turn on the reception lord we pull down every power of darkness that is blocking reception lord that is blocking us from hearing your voice blocking us from seeing in the spirit blocking us from desiring the things of the spirit lord Lord, that our passion from today be for full connection. So there will be a total download, a total release. I want you to lift up your children before the Lord. The Almighty God says, Pray, pray, pray. For I'm here to answer, answer, answer. Pray in faith. Pray believing for them. For just as you watch and desire for your children, so do I desire for you. So do I desire for you, for you are mine. And so do I desire for them, for they are mine as well. Lord, we consecrate Mother's Day to you. We consecrate all our mothers to you, Lord. As mothers, Lord, we cannot do anything without you. We are helpless without you. But Lord, this day we have seen that you have blessed us. You have blessed our breasts. You have blessed our womb, Lord. You strengthened our hands as you have put your hand under our hands, Lord. And because there's lightning in our hands, in your hands, we declare lightning has come over our hands. This hand shall break every darkness around us. It shall break the darkness over our children. It shall break the darkness over the atmosphere. It shall bring complete reception of light and complete connection. We bless you, mothers, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Prodigal children, come back to your mothers. Children that have deserted their mothers, we break the animosity and the strife between mother and daughter. We break the animosity between mother and son. We break it in the name of Jesus. And we declare harmony between us and our children. We declare that all our children come to serve you, Lord Jesus. They come to honor you. They come to fear the Lord. And Lord, we declare today, Lord, that we shall not only mother our own children, our physical children. From today, Lord, make us mothers of nations, Lord. Make us carry the destiny of the coming generation. Make us carry the destiny of our cities. Make us carry the destiny of nations just like Esther. Carry the destiny of all the children of Israel, Lord. Make us carry the church in our hearts, Lord. For you have given us wounds so that we can nurture. You have given us a heart that nurtures. May your name be praised. May our children rise up to call you blessed. To bless you. We thank you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you and keep you seeing that. As we bring the gifts, we have some gifts for Mother's Day. Please, you can be seated. singing it over the mothers so sing it with God shall be gracious to you
watching us online, we said bless you. Let the Lord keep you throughout this year. Keep all your children. None of them shall die. None of them shall be involved in an accident. None of them shall backslide. The Lord keeps you. He turns his face towards you and towards your children. Yes, they shall bless us. 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 Yes, they shall bless us.